Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of Omori with Venatorius BLT. Let's load the save. Alright, um... We'd already done, like, stuff up here, right? Wait, what is this? A clear bridge stretches across the trench. Do you want to cross it? Yes. This is interesting. What's at the other end, though? That's the real question. At least in my mind. It's it, There's an eyeball. Wow, just look at this place. There's so many cool plants around. I bet Basil would have really liked it here. Basil. He would have really liked it. Right, guys? Yeah. I'm sure he would have. Huh. What is it? Hey. I have a serious question. Do any of you remember what Basil looks like? Oh, shit. Why do you ask that, hero? Let's see here. Basil... Basil loves taking care of flowers and taking photos of his friends. He's warm, calm, and gentle. And even when he's upset, he's always ma uh, he'll always manage a smile. The rest is starting to get a little fuzzy. It's okay. Me too, Hero. It's like I still miss him, but it's kind of hard to remember why. Oh, God. But that doesn't change anything, right? Even if our memories aren't as strong as they used to be, we still have to save him. Basil's our friend. And more importantly, he needs our help. You're right, Aubrey. I think we've all been uh, apart from Basil for way too long. But I'm sure we'll find him. As long as we have Omori to keep us on track. Oh, God. All this time, Basil's been waiting for us. He could be lost, lonely, or scared. I bet he could use a big hug right now. Then when we're all together again, we should all give him a big ol' hug. Aw, it's nice to see you two getting along so well for a change. I could hug the both of you right now. Oh my lord. <laughs> Me and Kel? Get along? What are you talking about, Hero? Stop being weird. <laughs> Relax, you two. I'm just playing around. Hold on. Uh, hold on, Basil. We're almost there. We'll all be together soon. Uh-huh. Oh, what the hell is this? Um... Your memories are not free. To gain a memory, another must be shrouded. And yet, all memories will eventually fade. Perhaps you've already noticed. The curse of Deeper Well. Excuse me? Oh no, please don't be a fucking maze. Oh god. I'm screwed. Wait, how do I get that? Oh. <laughs> Easy enough. Life jam! When trouble shows itself, there is always the choice to run. But one day, you may very well find yourself running alone. That's a... spoopy thought. Maybe not spoopy, but just like... Oh no. Why you gotta be like that? What is this? There's a lot of freaking hands on the wall, man, I just noticed. Like, some weird sperm hands. Okay. Fuck, dude. I, I'm gonna get lost so bad in here. Whoa! 
Ghost child, come back! Hmm. Oh! A long time has passed since you have ventured this far. Deeper layers of his world open up as the dreamer grows more desperate. Even imagination is limited. You have questions that I can answer. Answers that you have forgotten. I will lay them out for you. If you are curious, you will choose. You would like to know more about white space. To be in white space is to be nothing. White space is emptiness, a home without warmth, a place to survive, but not to live. Even still, your consciousness cannot be erased. Or no, just your conscience cannot be erased. It will always find a way in. Even in white space, it will take the form. And if one wills it, something will be formed to subdue it. A hanging black light bulb. The repression of an idea. Yes. Perhaps it is time to admit that you are human, Dreamer. Is there anything else you would like to know more about? Yes. I will lay them out for you. If you are curious, you will choose my lost friend. You would like to know more about your lost friend? Yes. The friend you have lost is not in this world. The day he was removed, he was reborn elsewhere. He is special to you. A string of fate ties you two together. He cannot leave that place alone. To retrieve him, you will have to remove yourself as well, but in a way that is natural from this, uh, for this world. For headspace. This journey is nearing its end. You already know what you have to do, Dreamer. Do I? Is there anything else you'd like to know about? Yeah, of course the big yellow cat. You would like to know more about the big yellow cat, yes. Before this world was created, there existed three great creatures. The oldest, the wisest, and the favorite. The oldest is alive, but not the same as he once was. Age has removed his conscience, and he has evolved into a parasite within himself. He lives here, just beyond this cavern. The wisest, against her reason, committed an act that opposed the dreamer's will. It is an act that is not even known to me. As a result, she was stripped of her wisdom and banished to isolation. A special prison somewhere deep, deep down. The last and favorite, the big yellow cat, was chosen to watch over the dreamer's most precious room. He remains the dreamer's favorite even to this day, watching diligently, waiting for something to happen. You have listened well. I have granted you knowledge, but know that I can also grant you power here. There is a challenge that will aid you greatly in this world. It is simple without thought, and if you succeed, I will be gone as well. I offer you this sacrifice. Will you take this opportunity? Sure. I understand. Stand very still, Dreamer. Um... Well... We sank into the blood hole. It's us as an apple? What is this? A red juicy apple hangs from this tree. Would you like to eat the apple? Sure. This better not be some fucking, like, biblical shit. That sounds gross. I hate it. The squishy sound. Amori gained 50 heart. Amori gained 50 juice. Amori gained 10 attack. Amori gained 10 defense. Amori gained 10 speed. Jesus Christ. A branch coral. It is not alive. Well, hot damn, dude! I'm glad I came back this way instead of going through the weird eyeball. Get out of here. 
Isn't this just the way back? Ah! Why is there... You know what? I don't even know why I'm gonna ask any questions anymore. There's just shit, like, dripping from the walls and crap. I hate that. Unhallowed burden has been placed upon you. You have the power to change the future. What will you do, Dreamer? What will you do? Uh, these things are making weird noises, man. I don't like it. How far will you go to save your friend? I don't know. Like... I, I don't know. See, like, I didn't even know that we were doing this, man. Mario's picnic basket, would you like to save? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I didn't want to save over what we already had, you know? Because, like, if we're about to get to an ending, I don't want to, like, you know, screw it all up. That is a whale. What's up, brother? Well, hello there, friends! The name is Humphrey. What brings you here to my humble little cave? Uh, hello, Humphrey. We're just looking for someone. Sorry for bothering you. Oh, no, not at all, children. I do love visitors. In fact, are you the second group? Uh, you are the second group to visit me today. The first was just a girl. A very loud girl with a big red bow. Oh, shit. Doesn't that sound like someone we know? Huh, is Sweetheart here? Where is she? Hmm, where is she? Where is she? It's on the tip of my tongue. Yuck, yuck. That's a joke, it is. She is. Inside me, you see? Oh, boy. She, she's inside you? Why, yes. She is visiting my guests, for I am also uh, home to a family of sea witches. We spend our time together chatting and chuckling. It is so fun to hear about their days, uh, their daily antics. Sometimes they even <coughs> they are even so kind as to bring me my meals. It's much easier for them, you see, for they are closer to my belly than I. In fact, I'm sure they'd love even more visitors. Here, let me lower the bridge for you. Oh boy. My apologies. The first guest seems to be causing some indigestion. Yeah, well, I'm not terribly surprised. <laughs> Meh! Man, it's getting warm in here. Oh, fan. You wonderful fan. Humphrey! I wonder if there was other ship, like, I'm sure there was other ship we could have done in the previous place. Oh, Humphrey's belly is huge. Sure looks easy to get lost in here. I bet if I yell, it'd make an echo. Damn right, plywood. would. Echo, echo, echo. Ah! Where'd you come from? Welcome to my lair. Are you surprised to see me? I am always here. I am uh, I am inside me and all around you. This reminds me of the Binding of Isaac. I am everywhere. Or I am just here. Oh, that's so cool, Humphrey. I wish I could do that. It's kind of gross if you ask me. Wow! So rude. There are many ways to go. Where should we even start? Left! Right? Up? Around? Does it matter? It's all forward, isn't it? Just pick one, it's easy. Whoa, wait, what's all this shit? You got like some hatches or some shit over here? Hang on. Oh, you know what? I I'm betting the caution area is where we can disembark.
Hi, I'm Humphrey, your all-access pass to Humphrey, a.k.a. Slime Girl's Lair. What? Strictly speaking, I guess I'm what you humans call an elevator. Unfortunately, we can only take one appointment at a time, and you'll have to wait your turn. Though, if you can find me a slimy keycard, I, uh, I might be able to pull some strings for you. Nyuk, nyuk. Okay. Well, uh, left. That's gonna be our first direction. What the hell? Are those, like, Humphrey things in, like, bio suits? Those, what, what is that, an oven? Waste. Waste. A teleporter. Waste. This is this poop shoot, man. I'm convinced this is his poop shoot. Is this where all the waste is? Oh, no. Oh, hello, Marina. Are you here to steal my things again? Well, not this time. I prepared something special, extra special for you today. <laughs> As you know, I am a very busy person. But alas, you are my sister. I will grant you access to my room. If you are able to solve my little gift. Hope to see you soon, darling. If you're still alive, that is. It was Molly Ringwald. I, I think that was that actress's name, right? Molly Ringwald? Oh, I, I'm here. Gee, you popped in just as I was in the middle of fixing up this tube. Alright. Type puzzle. Theme memorization. Difficulty hard. You want to activate this puzzle? You cannot choose another puzzle until it's solved. No. Type puzzle. Theme multi multiple choice. Difficulty medium. You want to activate this puzzle. You cannot choose another one until it's solved. Theme pattern. Difficulty easy. Do you want to activate this puzzle? Yes. the fuck the game wants for me. You want to picnic with your friends, yes. Maybe it'll tell us somewhere else. You guys, we can't relax right now. We have a puzzle to solve. Aren't you guys afraid the bomb is going to explode? Bomb? Just relax, Aubrey. We got this. This room is full of uh, the smartest people I know. That doesn't make me feel better at all. The lady on the screen said she set it up for, uh, for her sister, right? She wouldn't really let it explode on her. I don't know, Cal. Aubrey's right. We're in unfamiliar territory. It's probably better to play it safe. What do you think we should do, Mari? Huh. Oh, I think you should do what your heart tells you. Thanks, Mari. I can always count on you. You're welcome. Um... Humphrey to Humphrey. Do you read me? Hmm, yes. Have you tried turning it off and on, uh, back on again? According to our test, it would seem that sprout moles grow from, uh, grow from tofu. Who do? Oh my, surely these numbers aren't correct. Oh wait. It seems that I have miscalculated. I guess they're not. <laughs> we understand so little about this world, so we study it. Yet our research just fills us with even more questions. It's an endless and fruitless cycle. Ah, these results are quite unexpected. With this knowledge, I just may be able to find the cure for mortality. That's what I'm saying. According to the live feed, she's working hard on something in her workshop. Yeah, okay. I'll keep an eye on it. It's tough to get an actu uh, any actual work done around here, since Molly is always messing with our research. I wish I was assigned to Medusa's quadrant. 
that's where they assign all the work, uh, work hard, play hard types. I hear they even have a uh, water slide. Hmm. What about you? What do you gotta say? Ah, of course. The calculations, uh, the calculations are so simple when you put it that way. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So if I multiply the result, subtract by infinity, then divide by zero, and carry the one, that would bring me to an imaginary number. <laughs> All right. Hang on. Oh wait, there was. Whew. Why am I yawning? It's morning. Kakra! Lab work in progress. Disturb sparingly. Yeah, we're gonna try this. Uh... Hmm. Your friends smile warmly behind you. Indeed. Um, I would like to attempt this puzzle again. Well, hello there, friends. Would you like a Humphrey hit for 300 clams? Sure. Delicious. Here's your hint. I'll only say it once. A wise Humphrey once said, When all else fails, try reading from left to right. Reading from left to right, you said. Hmm. I'm preparing the entrance for our exciting new attraction, but it's not ready yet. You should come back later. Like tomorrow later. Can't go up in there, huh? What's this? Waste. 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 Okay, but like, um... Maybe it's just left and then right. I don't get it, dude. Try reading from left to right. Sure, I'll play you again. Why not? Maybe I missed something. Delicious. Okay. I want to say it once. I mean, you said it once before. Why is Humphrey once said, "When all else fails, try." Re when all else fails, try reading from left to right. Doing me a real solid here, pal. Just, like, expertly done, you know what I'm saying? Actually, I should probably eat this, huh? Oh, yeah, some questionable gelatin. Would you like to eat some? <laughs> <laughs> questionable gelatin. You and your friends feel like new. All right, y'all. Well, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you all did enjoy it. And if you did, you want to do, that is going to be for me, Notorious BLT. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you all next time. Bye-bye, folks.